when you're making good golf swings, we want to try to eliminate all these compensations. And what I mean by that is this. If the club moves outside going back, the club has to find the inside. So that would be kind of a loop coming this way. If the club goes inside going back, it must move back down and not move too far out, but it certainly can't come back way on the inside. Notice the shaft on the ground. And I'm gonna put this shaft, you can see it's parallel to my target line, like this. And I'm putting this pretty much when I set up, it's just towards the toes. You can see the shaft is pretty much parallel to the target line, but it's at my toes. So when I'm working on my shape of swing, I look at two places that it's very important to get your club. And now I have the secret grip in my hand here. I'm gonna work the club back to parallel one. I'm going to cock the wrist and turn my upper body back. And you'll notice that the shaft is parallel to this, ground, this club on the ground at the top. We don't want the club to work inside and point over to the right. That would be across the line to the right. We don't want the club to go back and you fan the club open in what we call layoff. We don't want that either. Both of those situations creates a need for a compensation, which again is not simplifying our golf swing. So first we call this the parallel drill. Set it up right on my toes and do some rehearsals, parallel one, Cock it up, parallel two. Now I'm gonna take it a step further to say when I come down, I wanna see the same parallel here before I strike the golf ball. So do this drill without even hitting balls and you'll find that when you swing the club back, we're gonna hit it once, twice, three times. Notice that the club's not moving this way. Notice the club's not moving out and too much to the inside. This to me simplifies the shape of your swing and puts the club in a better position at the top, which is gonna help us to strike the golf ball more consistently.